If I begin one of these milestones, I will need to pull every hour on the standard banner until that milestone is completed. Guys, I'm totally, totally not addicted to polling. Trust me. This is my dream account build, a no tank no healer account that is tasked with some insane restrictions and challenges in order to beat the hardest content in the game. But every time my no sustain team dies, I will need to do a 10 pull on the standard banner. And if I hit zero jades, well, I lose the challenge. Furthermore, if I want to pull on a limited banner, I need to unlock it by first completing one of these milestones. And if I get unlucky on the banner, well, I get closer to losing. But don't worry, I will explain these rules in detail as they come up. However, stay tuned because there will be a twist that will make this challenge even harder than I thought it would be. And with some of the hardest fights still ahead of us, I already made a few crazy mistakes. And so right after unlocking Acheron by completing World 5, there was a problem. In order to build Acheron and level certain traces, I needed one specific material. This boss material here, which is obtained by defeating the Echo of War boss, the Swarm King. So after completing the quest line to unlock the boss, my chat tried to gaslight me into doing this. I am not doing level 2. Do you guys think I could do level 2? More drops for Dr. But I'm gonna brick. You guys just wanna see me brick. I'm not getting baited. Fine, I will do level 2. Wow. He is so screwed. No oh, shit. It's over for him. So yeah, I got baited by my chat, so it wasn't looking mighty fine for us. We should be able to take out its first life pretty easily, because we have all our ultimates up. Dude, it's so tanky. Oh my god. I'm Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna save my ultimate and just normal attack. No! Why did you have to attack Stell? My ultimate. Stell is almost dead, and yep, she's about she's five stacks with entanglement. Um, yeah. If Stell can live, this could be winnable. I need to blow them up. Please follow up. No! Are you kidding me? Kill. Thank you. Wait, that didn't kill? And Stell is dead? Oh shot. No, dude, if Stell was alive. It's okay, Akron is gonna kill all of them, I believe. <gasps> this is it, we can win, we can win. It's winnable, it's winnable, it's winnable! Yes! She has her ultimate up too. Oh, no follow-up? Are you kidding me? Okay, we need Dr. Ratio to do a follow-up. 80% chance. You No way you miss here, buddy. Do not miss here or you're in the... <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, he missed. Okay, we're gonna normal attack. Hella should be able to not die. Thank you. Thank the Lord. We should break here. And then now we can ultimate. Oh, yes. Oh, that was way too intense. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. After a very close call, we were able to get the trace materials for Dr. Ratio and Akron, but there was an even bigger dilemma. Now, you guys might have seen my TL level earlier, it's 40, and the EXP has been overcapped for quite some time. The issue is that the enemies in the story will scale off our equilibrium level. Therefore, I do not want to ascend my level because Fantilia is one of those bosses that can cause me to lose everything due to the RNG nature of this one mechanic here. Jing Yuan. See, in this fight, if Jing Yuan dies, it's instantly considered a defeat, and the game forces you to restart even if your other allies are alive. That's a tempo that we'll have to do every time Jing Yuan dies. And without a healer or a tank, keeping Jing Yuan alive is not up to me, but instead it's up to our good old single mother of three, Fantilia. And with three full phases of Fantilia and her giant AoE attack, unless I am able to kill her fast enough, Jing Yuan will definitely perish. So what is the plan? To do exactly that. Do more damage to her than she can deal damage to us. However, I decided that even Fantilia's RNG wasn't masochistic enough, so I added one more rule for fun. If I begin one of these milestones, I will need to pull every hour on the standard banner until that milestone is completed. In turn, this will essentially force me to speedrun through the entirety of the questline as fast as possible, thereby making it more likely for me to make errors and make poor decisions. So that's exactly what happened. Please don't die. No! Okay, I think we're fine. Please, no, it's 1 HP. Okay, Bella dies. Please, 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 no. Please don't do this to me. Please die. Thank you. Thank you, dude. What? 
So yeah, up until that point, the elite rule was a complete joke as the enemies were really weak. At least it was a good wake up call because now the real fight is ahead of us. And finally, we were faced with Pantelia. And so this was the team that I ran, Akron, Dr. Ratio, and Serval. I subbed out Pella for Serval because not only is Fantilia weak to lightning, Serval can apply shock to the enemies, thereby counting both as a debuff and a damage boost for my Akron since she is using the Fermato Light Cone. But is it enough to take down Fantilia? I'll go for the body. You got it, sir. Let's go ahead and skill. Okay, here comes the big AoE attack. And I'm hoping that Jingyuan doesn't take that much damage. Please. Okay, not bad. Yeah, let's focus the flowers. Okay, we do no damage to the flowers. I lied. Focus this. <laughs> focus Ventilia. Lightning Lord damage was pretty good there. This is not too too bad, right? Okay, yeah, we should definitely save all of our abilities and stuff. Okay, what's this wombo combo? I think we should have enough damage here. Lightning Lord gets summoned. Easy collapse. Dude, that's fatty. That's a big hit. All right, let's kill here with Akron. And Lightning Lord should be able to finish off here. That's so much damage. We apply Dot here. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> okay, I lied. It's easier than it ought to be. Not bad, not bad. We saved the pulls out here. So we did so much damage with 4 DPS that Fantilia was basically caught with her pants down. Regardless if it was just pure luck or not, with Fantilia defeated, we finished up the Xiancho quest line. And with two milestones down, we had six more to go for the first phase. Our progression for the no sustain account was looking good. Until a few huge mistakes happened. See, next up is Penacone, and we have to face the meme boss, Sam, and Adventurine. It's a tough fight, but it's not impossible. I think. However, to make matters worse, I chose to make an irreversible decision. I decided to ascend our EQ level in order to get more resources, thereby making the quest bosses significantly harder. However, ascending our EQ level did have one huge benefit. We unlocked the ability to farm gold relics, and after prioritizing leveling my team, I went to farm my first cabin in order to get this, the highly coveted eagle piece. It's bound to happen, guys. You saw it coming. However, due to bad RNG, our first relic farmed is a hunter piece. But then this happened. There we go. First domain completed. And our first... Oh, our first relic is insane. What is that? That's like so good for Pella. Holy, okay. And after going on the spacebar date simulator with Hoyoverse's favorite daughter, I got complacent because this next enemy was one that I did not expect, nor was I prepared for. Oh my gosh, what is that damage? Oh no, we're in big trouble. What level are they? Why are they so strong? Level 58. Okay, we have to kill the bugs here. And hopefully they, when they blow up, they kill the rest of the enemies as well. Thank goodness we have Dr. Ratio. This makes it a lot easier. But wow, I'm not... This is bad. Hazardous waste. Oh no. Oh, no, never mind. We don't kill. Oh my god, what is that damage? Yo, that's unfair. Oh my. Okay. We just wiped. Uh, we have to do 10 standard pulls. We get our five star. And no, we don't. What do we get though? Pella. Okay. I'll take an idol on for Pella. That's that's all right. She wants a selfie. She belonged to the streets. Just, just kidding. P please don't cancel me, Twitter. However, the mistakes did not end there because right after rejecting Firefly's request for a selfie on our date, this happened. I can fix her. Okay, not that. I didn't say that. Oh my. Okay, that damage is a little high. It's gonna AOE us. And oh, yep. Oh my god, we're fucked. No, wait. Winnable? Okay, we are not hitting these crits. This is not good. Yeah, we're, we're screwed. <laughs> no, Akron. It still has almost half HP left. And yeah, we're basically dead. I shouldn't have cheaped out on food. I should have used good food. And I also need to upgrade my relics. Oh, I knew it, dude. I knew I shouldn't have taken up this boss. Oh, this was a mistake. Yeah, you can call it karma, but I say it's worth because this ended up happening. Our first five star. This is it. Please just let it be Welt, okay? Or Branya. Either one. Yang Ching and I'll hang myself in Minecraft. Come on. Come on. No, oh, that scared me. <laughs> that light clone is dog shit too. It's fine. Come on. Yes! 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. I got a little nervous there. Oh, my. I thought it was a light cone for a second because I that happened to me already. That happened once on my main account. Welt, welt, welt. Welcome home. That is a game changer for sure. Unfortunately, I do not have a news for welt right away. But after taking out the elite mob, we were in the final stretch. First up is the meme boss. Even though it may seem like a difficult boss, this fight was pretty trivial since the boss itself will heal our allies after sucking the soul out of them. The only hard part about the fight is ensuring that we break our allies out of the imprisonment fast. Next up is Sam. But before that, while opening the elite chests, I found this bad boy here. Holy what? Dude, if this was the other set instead? Oh, that would have been so insane. But this is still good. Oh my, that's a huge upgrade for probably Dr. Ratio. Let's, yeah, I'm gonna do it right now. That's such a huge upgrade. All right, we're gonna get this to level 12. Let's see it. Okay, one, one, one. Ah, uh, flat attack though. All right, that's all right. That's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah, uh, classic Hoyoverse RNG with their relic system. Get lucky just to get unlucky. However, we will need massive luck in this next fight because Sam is one of those fights that will require us to beat her fast before she burns our entire team down. And thank goodness we were lucky in that department because by the end, our Akron and Dr. Ratio were one attack away from dying. And since they are our only damage dealers, it would have definitely been GG if they went down. And so after clapping Sam in a nail biter, the final opponent dawns upon us. With adventuring ahead of us, I had to make huge upgrades and I did not hold back. We upgraded most of our gold relics to level 12, leveled up all of our characters and light cones that we are going to use. All right, level 15 boots. Affect hit rate. All right, I mean, hey, could have been worse. Could have been worse. But the biggest upgrade yet would be one that most people will never know about. See, consumables are some of the most powerful buffs for overworld content. For example, this one here, Bustling Ambience, provides a whopping 12% crit rate and 24% crit damage. That's a whole 8 substats worth of power-ups per character. For comparison, that's probably how many mint F2P players pick a day, so it's quite a lot. However, I needed a consumable that can help me survive. Adventurine deals a ton of damage, and with two full health bars, the battle of attrition is impossible. Until I discovered this insane item that can only be obtained in Penacony. Okay, Dreamscape Sales Store. There we are. It's gonna be a little pricey, but we're gonna need this. Okay, so we have to take this. We have to buy it. Ah, uh, 100,000 credits down the drain. But it's gonna be good because we are now able to access the store after we turn this into pom pom. So we have to give it to pom pom first. Talk to me. Check out the stream bubble pom pom. Presses the furry forehead on it. Um, okay. All right, there we go. The worst nameless ever. All right, Dr. Edward, what you got cooking in here? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So we're gonna definitely buy that. That's gonna be so OP for us. Upon use, all allies take 20% less damage and increase their effect res by 6% for the next battle. This is so insanely broken. We are going to take that as well. Then finally, one of the hardest choices that I had to make was to remove Dr. Ratio to sub in physical MC since adventuring is very resistant to imaginary damage. But I was very hesitant because I wasn't sure if this was a mistake or not. So there's only one way to find out. And so this happened. Chills. All right, this is it. Okay, we are faster than him. That That is a good sign. <laughs> be fine here. Oh, man, he seems a little tanky, huh? He do be seeming a little tanky here. Okay, that's a good amount of damage. 86%. 84%. Ooh, he does a lot of damage. Freeze might not be a bad idea here. I think... I would have liked a bleed better for damage, but at the same time, I think a freeze could help us extend his toughness and help us out a little more with the damage. We're gonna get our energy here. Oh, I should save a skill point because he will. Yeah, no, this is a bad idea. I cannot skill here. I need to save a skill point because he's gonna lock us down right here. No, I lied. So skill, normal skill. I'm at the normal here into a normal and then we could double skill, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Double skill, skill into an ultimate because our physical MC could be the one to get trapped here. And that's going to give us another ultimate potentially. Please, please pick stealth. Okay, Akron is good. I'll take Akron. We win. Let's do that. Ultimate with Akron. 
And by the time he takes his turn, he should be gone. No? No, he's way too tanky. Yeah, that's not enough. No, please! Oh, we're so low. He's at 7%. Oh, this isn't gonna kill, is it? Why do we do no damage? Please bleed kill. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, man, that stinks. I think we can do just normal attack here. Normal attack. We do not need to save Serval's ultimate. She does have a skill. Well, I need a normal attack here. I cannot skill. That's because he's going to lock us down right now. And we need everybody to be able to skill. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Why does he do so much damage? Okay, this is not good. Even with the food, we're just getting absolutely shredded. Okay, ultimate here. Yeah, and physical MC should be fine too. Nice. Akron should be fine. And Serval should not die here. Owie. Let's go ahead and Akron ultimate as well. And then let's physical MC in order to deny the extra action. So we can take less damage. Oh, this is so good for us. Ultimate with Serval. Perfect. And then skill with Akron and a normal attack with Serval here. Dude, he's so tanky. We might not live here. This is going to be close. No, please let us live one more. No, no. This is bad. This is so bad. Okay. Okay. Normal attack. Normal attack. And then actually, I want to skill with Pella here into an ultimate right after. Right here. Oh, please, Akron, live. Okay. Okay. He should not delete us. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Oh, I should have saved my ultimate with Pella. What was I thinking? Oh, no. But we should still be okay, I think, right? Hopefully. <clears throat> Maybe. They're both dead. Okay. And then ultimate with Akron, please. <laughs> Hopefully this is enough. Yeah, we're I think we got it. I think we got it. Yes. It should dash a shot here. No! No, 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 Please die. Please die. Yes, yes, yes. That was way too close, dude. That was way too close. Wow, that was... I'm actually heating up. That was so thrilling. With Pentacone completed, we cross off the third major milestone. It also left us with this many jades and pulls for Robin, but something's wrong. Do you guys see it? Zeto, shouldn't the timer have stopped after completing the milestone? Yeah, it should have. If we didn't start the Forgotten Halls earlier to get our QQ. So will Zeto be able to beat all the Forgotten Halls without dying? Or will he brick his account and his Robin pulls? Also, will he finally claim his achievements or will he let it sit there forever to trigger his viewers OCD? Subscribe and find out. Also, my apologies for the big delay on the video. The past few weeks, I've been spending time uh, helping my grandma settle in as she just recently moved over from overseas and also work has been very taxing. But everything should be good now and to make it up to you guys, I will be streaming all of May and for any days that I miss, I will be doing a giveaway at twitch.tv slash Zetomai. So come by because I missed yesterday. <laughs> However, I am also looking to commission editors. So if you're interested, there should be a form on my Discord in the announcement tab. So hopefully getting an editor will allow me to make more content for you guys. And again, I apologize for the big delay, but I appreciate your support. All right. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Stay safe. See you on stream. Bye bye. See ya.